All right, so we go to the farmer's market. We look in a dumpster and it's full of Silver Queen. Now there's a couple, there's a couple of these. I think they call it bicolor sweet corn, but 99% of this corn is sweet corn, Silver Queen. Uh, dug it out of a dumpster yesterday. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make a couple different things out of it. You know what the first thing is, but I'm also gonna try and make some corn cob jelly. I ain't never made no corn cob jelly before. But let's uh, let's start shucking this stuff, and cutting it off the cob, and uh, see how much we got after we're all after it's all shucked. There you go. There's a mounds of it it's about two three hundred pounds got about 60 pounds of corn out of all that i'd say we're gonna put some water on it start blending it up got it filled full of water got it all blended up and we'll keep it stirred while i start this pot up and get it boiling All right, so I'm ready to move this. My mash barrel, I actually have two. I'm gonna divide it. I'm gonna add water, y you know. That's a lot of corn. I'm gonna split it up between two, two mash tons. Same mash bill, same gravity. I added sugar until they're at 1.080. And they're both the same, except for I'm gonna put dady yeast in this one and put bread yeast in this one. And after I run them, two different runs, I'm gonna do a comparison and see which one I like the taste of better. Have you done this? Do you like dady or bread yeast better? Try it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you prefer. Do them blind so you're not biased. Let's see which one's better. All right, so I sprinkled a little bit of yeast energizer in both barrels. I'm gonna stir them up. And this one, I put bread yeast. And this one, I put dady. Stir them up. I'm gonna put the lids on them and wait till they're done fermenting. All right, so I kept some of the original mash before I put yeast in. I'll put it in a gallon jug, put it in a refrigerator, and I'll use it in my infuser later on down the road. All right, so far the difference is the bread yeast is ready to run. It's been like, I think five days, four or five days. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, the bread yeast is finished, but the dady is not. The dady still has some ferment left to do. Uh, the bread yeast is at 1.000 already. Um, however, this mash is a couple gallons bigger because this bin is a couple gallons, gallons bigger. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. Uh, they're not exactly the same size. Like that one's probably got two or three gallons less of space. So... But that's just something to keep an eye on. I'm doing this experiment as, uh, as non-biased as I can. I've always used uh, Dady for most things I've done. 
I, I think I prefer it, but I'm going to do a blind test. And I'm also going to get some other people to, to taste both mashes and see which they prefer. And uh, let's, let's see what I prefer. You know, blindly, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm I'm biased because, you know, you, you never know if you're being biased or not. You're just used to something. So let's see what happens. Time to run it. I got some sweet corn juice I saved from that mash. I'm going to put it in my infuser. Can't see it. Run. There we go. We got liquor chickens. We got liquor chickens. Billbillymoonshine.com. You need one. Let us know. I'm running her off. This is the one with the uh, the dady. She's coming out, 150 proof. I'm letting heads run through this liquor chicken so I can clean the inside out of it. Cleaned it inside with some with some vinegar, but then I polished it. So I'm trying to get the uh, get it good and clean on the inside. All right, I dumped a, a half gallon of heads. It's now one, 140. Where are you gonna dump? All right, I, uh, I fucked up in the beginning. I had to throw off half gallon of heads. But then I forgot to switch that liquor chicken over. So I ended up messing a couple jars up. So I normally would have had a couple extra jars. I got uh, a couple gallons. That's a good run to me. I uh, really like it coming out 150. I got it all the way down to uh, just over 100 down here. Uh, let's try her out again. smells like sweet corn. It smells a little bit like coffee. It's weird. It's a mix between Silver Queen and, uh, and Bicolor. That's really good, man. You don't beat that. Trash can corn. That's amazing. I'm going to run uh, the next run tomorrow with the, uh, with the bread yeast. Then we're going to set them side by side try them out it's gonna be awesome so I'll come back to you I'm running the tails out of this I'll put the tails from this and with that because I put some tails from a previous super sweet corn run into this I didn't show it on video but so I'll do the same thing with this other mash to try and proof it up but uh we'll see you tomorrow all right I'm running the bread one now so we're gonna see the difference between the bread yeast and the uh, the dady. All right, so I have both runs done. I'm going to blend this and proof it, and then I'm gonna blend all these and proof them. And then I'm I'm probably gonna just do a separate video. I'm gonna give everybody the Pepsi challenge. But uh, I'll come back to you after these are all blended and proofed. The first, first batch blended is 120 as an overall proof. Uh, I'm going to put it back in the jars. I don't have no proofing water. I don't know if I even want to use any. So let's see if we can't get the next uh, batch at 120 also. Uh, that's blended. Let's put it back in jars. All right, I got this one blended and it's just over 120. So 
I'd say they're almost exact proof. Uh, I think that one's probably 122. But I don't think that's going to affect it. I'm going to add it to the jars. I didn't add any water to either, to either one. So I just blended them. I didn't proof them down whatsoever. I'm keeping this proof. I will not add water to them. People want to add ice during the tasting. That's later. That's another video. I will taste these both. And then I will later do another video of me blind taste testing them side by side. All right. Uh, both runs are finished. Both of them are proofed to about 120. So all these jars are identical and all these jars are identical. So if you take one, take the other. This is the dainty. This is the bread yeast. They're, as far as smell, they're almost identical. There's such a minute difference a normal person would not pick it up. That's good. Dude, that's good. That's good liquor. I'm gonna give myself a minute and get that out of my palate. It's sweet corn. Sweet corn liquor, man. That's my favorite thing. I love sweet corn liquor, especially when it's fresh, fresh off the still, you know? If you drink it within two weeks of it coming off the still, it still has that, that punch, that corn punch. It has that smell, it has that taste. You know, after a while, that kind of, kind of leaves it. Uh, it's always gonna be good, it's always gonna have some of that, but when it first, like the first two weeks, that you run super sweet corn. It is just so sweet and corny and everything you do is just corn. It's it's great. So, tried the dainty. It's different. It's a little bit different. It burns the tip of your tongue. Whereas this hits you in the back, this hits you in the very front of the tongue. It's wild. I'm not gonna, I think I prefer the dainty, but I'm gonna do it blind. I'm not, I'm gonna do that on another video. I'm gonna do it blind and I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a whole bunch of other people do it blind, a whole bunch of moonshiners. Moonshiners and professional alcoholics. And uh, <clears throat> I'll make a huge video of it. It's, it's going, I'm gonna call it the moonshine, or the moonshine challenge. Kinda like Pepsi challenge, you know what I mean? But uh, it's different. I didn't think it would be. Earlier when I was running it, I didn't think it would be that different because I had some of the this when I was running it that tasted so much like that. But now that they're all blended and they're all 120, um, there's a little difference, and I can definitely tell. Uh, I think I like the dating more, but we'll find out because I'm going to blind taste test it. I'm going to have somebody mix them up. And I'm gonna do the same thing to other people. Uh, I do know that like, when you're running the, when you run bread yeast in like a fruit, it has a nutty flavor to it, real nutty. It's, uh, I don't know how to really explain it other than it's a little bit nutty of a flavor. Uh, that's it. Uh, this, this was a success, they are both excellent. I do think personally, I prefer the dainty. We will find that out for sure in about a week. Or no, actually about two weeks. See y'all later.